Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a blob logo design in Adobe Illustrator. So you can see an example on screen of the logo that we're going to be creating. Lots of circles all joined together in a very blob-like fashion. So if we just drag this out of the way for now, the first thing to do is grab the ellipse tool and just left click and hold shift to draw a circle or we can just single left click anywhere on the artboard and type in a value. So I'm going to give this a width and height of 150 pixels and click OK. And just make sure that the stroke is set to none and that we have a fill color. So I've got a turquoise fill color here. And if you'd like to grab any of these swatches, there'll be a link in the description to download the Illustrator file with this graphic in and you can grab them directly there. So we're going to zoom in. Now the first thing we need to do is create this blob join together style effect and we're going to do that by holding alt and shift and left clicking and dragging down and to the left so i'm holding alt and shift shift keeps it at a 45 degree angle and alt creates a copy and let go and if i just zoom in really close with the zoom tool i need to make sure that these are touching now we can switch into outline mode that's command or control y and effectively we get a wireframe but I've got to hold shift if I want to move this at all, just so it stays on that 45 degree line. And you can see they're pretty much touching there. In fact, there's a very tiny bit of overlap, but that is absolutely fine. Remember, we are zoomed in very far. When you zoom out, it's pretty good. Now I'm going to do the same again. Hold Alt and Shift and left click and drag this one to the right. And again, I'm going to zoom in on this point now I'm going to hold shift again and this one has to stay on the horizontal axes. So whichever direction that I'm dragging when I create a shape, whether it's diagonally or horizontally, I need to adjust it so that it just about lines up or ever so slightly overlaps. But I need to hold shift to make sure it doesn't go out of line with the one that I had before it. So we're going to do one more, the top one here, holding alt and shift, left click and drag down and just zoom in on that point. And again, I'm going to hold shift and left click, and this has to move on the vertical axis, so up or down. There we go, perfect. So you should end up with something that looks like this. And again, we can press Command or Control Y to come out of outline mode. And then what we can do is drag over everything and use the Shape Builder tool to drag through the center and then hold Alt, so you get that minus key appear, and just left click, hold Alt, left click, and it will remove those other two. Now, if you don't have access to the Shape Builder tool, if you are on an older version of Illustrator, you can do the similar thing with the Pathfinder panel here. You can use Unite to combine shapes together and subtract or minus front to knock them out. And if you don't see that on the right, you can go up to Window, down to Pathfinder, and it's there. So we've created that blob effect. We do need to get our original circle back. So a very cheeky way of doing this is to select the shape we've just created, go to edit and cut. And what that does is remove it and copy it to the clipboard. And we can then keep pressing the shortcut here, command or control Z to go back. So we'll go back until we have our original circle and just select these and hit delete or backspace and then go to edit and paste in place and it will paste in the blob-like effect that we created and we have that original circle as well. So what we're going to do now is I think we'll color these up as we go. You can see all my swatches are nicely organized in order. Now the next one's pretty easy. We just have to drag holding Alt and as we drag holding Alt will create a copy and these smart guides are being very helpful in lining stuff up and if you want to turn them on you can do this here. And again, I'm going to hold Alt and Shift and create a copy. Boom, snaps in place. Thank you, Illustrator. So again, we can use the Shape Builder tool to drag through and combine these together. Or as I mentioned, we can use the Pathfinder panel and select Unite. So either of those two ways works. It just depends what version of Illustrator you're using. And we can change the color of this to that as we go. And I can drag over the top two now because the bottom half is the same. 
So we can go edit, copy, edit, paste in place, object, transform, reflect, and we'll reflect this along the horizontal axes and just hold shift and drag this down and it snaps in place. Let's just zoom in there and just set this one here to the front and we can press command or control Y and just zoom in a little bit. And if you want to zoom in super, super close and just check everything lines up, be my guest <laughs> just to get it all perfect. And then we can go ahead and just color up these last few swatches. Let's just zoom in here. We've got a little bit of an overlap there. So where you have that overlap, you can go and arrange and just bring certain colors to the front. And then once we've done that, just drag over everything, go to object and group. And this all moves around together as one complete shape. And there we go. That's how to create a blob logo design in Adobe Illustrator. Guys, if you'd like to become a patron of the channel and get access to the private live streams, free downloads behind the scenes, or just chat with me directly, there is a link in the description to my Patreon page. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Oh.